How's it going folks, it's Rob here. I've been asked how the small little chop and flip aquaponic barrel system's going, so I thought I'd bring you along and give you a bit of a look at how it's traveling. Uh, it's been a fair while since it's been built and up and running, so here we go. So there's a little system just standing by itself behind my little utility cupboard there. Um, I've got the pH meter in there at the moment and I've taken some nutrient readings just to see where the nitrate and all that is sitting at the moment. But the barrel itself, so far it is going gangbusters. I can't really complain at all. We've got some pak choy up the back there. We've nipped off one or two leaves just to throw in a stir fry and a salad. They didn't go too good in the salad, but uh, really probably should come out of there. A little bit of a chard up the back there, rainbow chard. I think there's actually two plants there. We've nipped off the odd leaf, but yeah, nothing really major harvest-wise from that one. A little parsley down the front, just a flat leaf Italian that I pulled out as a volunteer from down the back. And a thyme plant. Now this little thyme plant was showing signs of nutrient deficiency a little while back. So I popped in some um, chelated iron and also a small scoop of the powdered seaweed or kelp uh, fertilizer that we have. And that's pretty much what looked after any deficiency. As for the fish, well, um, there is no fish. Still have no fish in the system. Uh, it's just running at the moment on um, the seaweed and kelp and also a little bit of aged urine. Um, I've been using some of my own aged urine. It's probably about four to six months old now. And I've been adding roughly around about 100 mils two or three times a week and that seems to be powering uh, these veggies along nicely. Now, urine is one of those touchy subjects. I know a lot of people uh, sort of balk at the idea, but when you consider most of us gardeners who um, play in the dirt, we're playing with, um, you know, horse or cow or rabbit or whatever dung. Not only that, a lot of the fertilizers we buy are pretty much all made by um, <laughs> fracking and getting natural gas to make nitrogen-based fertilizers if you don't do it organically. So um, I see nothing wrong with using a little bit of my own urine to power the system and being aged in an anaerobic um, environment is pretty much all devoid of any pathogens that could harm us further on down the track. In fact, it smells a lot like the uh, fertilizer we used to use on the farm when Dad and Uncle Don used to do broad acre soybean and whatnot. Um, it's a very similar smell. So I'm uh, not too concerned about using urine. For anyone who wants to check it out though, I'll leave a, a couple of links in the description below. You can suss out um, the UN sites and it runs through how you prepare it properly to use it in your patch. I uh, would also pay to double check your local authorities or state or federal governments to see if it is allowable. Now, pH-wise and all the rest of it, well, we'll have a look at the um, nutrients first. I'll just set this little phone up. So nutrient-wise, uh, we'll do nitrate first. The nitrate is pretty much all coming in at trace. And the nitrite, same again, trace. And the ammonia uh, is basically coming in as a bit of a trace as well, maybe a little bit darker. Um, I haven't put any um, urine in here for the last two days, so it probably does need a little bit of a boost. Um, that's the neighbor's cockatoo you can hear going off, by the way. Uh, as for pH and temperature, pH, we're sitting at roughly 7.8. It was flipping between 7.8 and 7.7 before. And temperature, it's sitting at roughly around about 22 degrees Celsius. So what is that Fahrenheit? That's why I don't have to do a conversion for you. We'll have a look. There you go, sitting at around about 72 Fahrenheit. So uh, it'd be fine to have a couple of goldfish in there at the moment. Uh, we just haven't gotten around to it. We were looking at um, pretty much well running this on about eight to 10 goldfish and maybe a little pleco or some sort of algae eater in there just to knock off any algae on the side walls. But yeah, it just hasn't happened. So when things warm up a bit, we might pop a couple in. So I just added roughly about 100 mils of urine uh, into the system, let it cycle through a few times, and as you can see, there is definitely an ammonia spike of some sort. I also did nitrite, uh, but nitrite pretty much well won't register straight away, I don't think. So looking at that ammonia reading there, it's pretty much all a given, I think, that the bacteria have moved in and set up shop and uh, converting the ammonia to nitrite and then onto nitrate. Um, definitely need to keep up a more regular source for the bacteria. 
so these plants can do a little bit better but you know um, as soon as the fish are in there they'll take over that role there you go I just thought you know out of interest just to show you how fast it does rise when you do add a little bit now you know I'm not telling you that you should be using urine I mean it's one of those things I'm just using it uh, at this point in time just to help cycle this little system just to get it off and running before we get the goldfish in there so as soon as we get goldfish in there obviously I won't be using it so as you can see we've gotten some pretty good growth out of the additives that have been going into the little barrel at the moment I'm pretty happy with the way it's gone a uh, few folks who are going Rob I can't watch anymore mate that's just gross um, I would suggest you try and get over the ick factor and have a look at those links below uh, from what I've seen unless you're on some pretty serious meds like chemotherapy and hormone based ones you can pretty much well get away with using this on a small scale um, you know it's no good collecting a whole city's worth of urine and trying to recycle it there'd be so many different chemicals and drugs in there you know I'd, it, it'd just be too hard for a uh, municipality to try and tackle I think but on a small scale like this I see no reason why we can't you know try and make some use of it ourselves as long as you're obeying the law of course so um, as for our patch out the back here it's not something I would be using in the soil a lot um, I would be concerned about um, if I'm relying just on you know heavy nutrient based liquid fertilizers there wouldn't be organic matter going in there not only that there could be salts build up there is a fair bit of sodium in human urine so yeah it's not something I'd use all the time but you know cycling a small little system like this not a problem at all I mean there are other folks out there who run peaponic systems so you know have a bit of a Google search look up peaponics bioponics and you know you might uh, pick up a few interesting uh, tidbits along the way if you're interested in you know investigating this further uh, for you folks who uh, want another aquaponic clip this weekend I've got a bit of an update on my parents chop and flip IBC system I built them about two and a half months ago uh, there's a bit of a news update with that one so suss that out on I think it's Sunday Australia and Saturday if you're over in the States and somewhere in between uh, if you're elsewhere in the world It'd be great if you could hit that little subscribe button if you weren't grossed out too much by this clip. Um, we do post a few on aquaponics and the other soil patch and that sort of thing for you folks who haven't seen the clips. It'd be great to have you come along and say good day in the comment section whenever we do post. Uh, for everyone else, thanks very much for turning back up and having another bit of a look at what's going on in our small little backyard farm. I do hope everyone is well and happy and that you have gotten something out of the clip and I'll catch you on Sunday or Saturday or somewhere in between. Cheers folks. Oh, I just spotted this butterfly up here. Hello butterfly, what are you doing? Having a bit of a feed on the Okinawan spinach flower. That's a um, crow, um, I think it's called a crow butterfly. I don't mind seeing these guys around the place. I don't think their larvae or their caterpillars do much damage. So, see you later fella.